Hey farm hands, Farm Boy Reef here. So on today's episode of Coral Friday, I picked up a really nice specimen for you guys. It's been in uh, the 220 here, it's been acclimating for about an hour and a half now. Um, the coral that I picked out for you guys is the Acan Anchinata. It's a beautiful Acan, it's got really beautiful colors. This one, it looks like it has a lot of red and a lot of blues in it. I can't wait to show you guys under the radions when we turn those blues down, see how they pop. So a few things about this coral. Um, this coral likes a low flow, low light. Um, if you notice sometimes if your acans it has too much light on it, you won't get that full uh, polyp extension, especially when it's feeding. It doesn't like to be uh, like irritated and when there's too much flow, same thing. It doesn't like uh, the too much flow because it starts to irritate the coral and you won't get that full polyp extension. That's what we want to see, especially when it's feeding. So you want to keep your coral happy. A um, couple other things with this coral as well. Um, it, it has the, the zootothanales um, uh, algae that grows in its skin and it gets this from your from your lights, from your radions and creates like a sugar and feeds that coral. So that's one other thing that you can do is uh, when it has the light, it feeds it itself. Um, it likes the small particles in the water as well, um, waste, any uh, leftover foods that you feed, it'll uh, feed on those. And it'll make it, every, the more you feed it, it'll start to brighten up and have a lot of beautiful different colors and it'll keep encrusting all over your rocks. So a couple other things uh, with this coral as well, where I'm gonna end up placing this coral, uh, I'm gonna put it low level, put it near a cliff, so it has just enough light and just enough flow. So uh, it has, it can go any way it wants to go here, um, okay? So a few uh, care level uh, pointers for these corals. So you wanna keep your uh, calcium from 400 to 450 uh, ppm, and you wanna keep your magnesium from 1200 to 1350. Um, you need to have magnesium up there because you won't avail, your corals won't absorb calcium. Magnesium makes calcium uh, widely available for your corals. So if you want to have a great growth, keep your magnesium high so you absorb, absorb your uh, calcium. Before you even dose calcium, always check your magnesium levels to make sure you're keeping them up there at 1350. You don't want to end up wasting calcium and dosing for nothing. Try to keep your uh, phosphates as low as possible, around zero. Um, it likes to have zero phosphates. And your strodium, try to keep them from between eight and ten. If you want to dose and make uh, your corals grow a lot faster, this is what you got to do. So what we have to do now is we have to take uh, this coral down to the lab. We're going to coral dip it, see if we have any pests come off, and then we're going to bring it upstairs and uh, see what it looks like under these blues, see if we can make it pop, guys. All right, so we made it down to my fish lab. So the coral I got is the 8-can inch knot. I'm going to show you guys up close and personal what we got here. So this is about the size of my hand. It's a really nice piece. If we get to see it under the blues, it's about red some red and blue on there. So I'm all about trying new products. So the product I got for you guys today, guys, is uh, the, the Reef Primer uh, Coral uh, Conditioner from Polylabs. So we're gonna try this one out today on this uh, nice, beautiful coral and see what kind of pests and everything get off it. So what you're gonna need is I'm gonna read these instructions to you and see what this is all about. So if we, let's check this out. So Reef Primer is a premium dip for your corals, frags. Use an acclimation routine before adding new corals to your system. So it's very important we always coral dip our corals. I always stress that out. We don't want to get any of these pests in our tank. You never know, they can go crazy and eradicate and kill other corals. So let's keep reading here. So the reef primer will clean away uh, zoanthid uh, eating nebranchias, monoporin eating nebranchias. That's good, I end up having uh, the monopore eating once one time. It was eating my green uh, nebranchia. And if you always look, if you see this, uh, the white around the, the monopora, you'll see this white marking, that's it, come in, they come out at night and they eat the coral. So if you see this white ring around the edges, just when you come out with a light and check it out, you might have uh, those uh, monopora to eat in the branches. I did a video on those, uh, what I did to get rid of them. So let's keep reading here. So, and then it says uh, Acapora eating flatworms, bristle worms, zoanthid eating spiders, red flatworms, um, hair algae, rapid tissue, neurosis, slow tissue neurosis, and bacterial infections, and more. So this, this coral dip seems to be doing a lot of uh, different things, a lot of different pests are gonna come off. So what we need to do here is you're gonna mix, I got my famous white bucket. You're gonna mix, you're gonna get five liters of your aquarium water out of your sump, and then you're gonna dump one of these, one shot, into your five liters. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna take it, and we're gonna dump it right in. So we just dumped that full bottle. Make sure you got it all empty. We'll close that back up. Make sure you keep it out of reach of children and animals. What we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna mix this up, agitate the water, and then we're gonna get our uh, a can in here and see if we have any pests come off. All right, so the a can enchilada has been in there for five minutes now. I'm gonna bring you guys in close and personal so you guys can see what I see, which pests came off, 
and see how well uh, this product works, guys. So let's check it out. All right, guys, so here's the Acan Inch Nod up close and personal. So we end up using uh, the Reef Primer by, by Poly Labs uh, Coral Conditioner. It's the one-shot process. As you guys can see, uh, some of the uh, Bristol Stars, Serpent Stars came off. So let's just, uh, it says to agitate the water a bit, so we just agitate the water. And then we'll, we'll move our corals around a little bit. We'll see if we got any bristle worms. So, oh, what's what do we got here? Oh, so there's a nasty uh, bristle worm right there. I don't care for these. Um, I have clams in my tanks, and sometimes they can get inside your clam, and it's not it's not the greatest uh, to have. And what else we got? So we have a few of the serpent bristle stars, and we have a snail as well. So by looking at it, the the coral dip worked really well. So we got some great results with the Reef Primer by uh, Polylab, the coral conditioner. It's great stuff. So what we gotta do now is we gotta clean this up. Uh, one great pointer uh, about the Reef Primer, it doesn't uh, cause stress on your corals through the dipping process. So the less stress on your corals, um, the better off it's gonna be in your display tank and uh, live for a long time. So what we have to do right now is we're gonna take this Acan Enchinata, Jimmy, and uh, we're gonna wash it off about three times. We're gonna take it upstairs to the main display. We're gonna turn the blues down. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use to mount it and where and why. So let's head up, guys. So I made up the 220 uh, display tank. So the mounting uh, process we're gonna use tonight is we're gonna use the Aquascape putty. The stuff is awesome. Two compounds, you mix them together. It looks like coralline algae. And I'm gonna use uh, the glue. So what you're gonna do, what helps, is I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the putty when I mold it in and then I'm gonna glue the coral to the putty and it makes a great bonding process so because you know rocks are not flat so this fills it in a little bit and it gives you a nice uh, surface to uh, glue it to so that is the aquascape uh, two pound putty it's great stuff so I'm gonna go ahead right now I'm gonna mount this coral up I got a great uh, spot right here in the middle of my tank it's got uh, just enough flow and just enough light that this uh, Acan Anchinata should really take off. All right, farm hands. So I have the coral all mounted up here. I have it at a perfect location, just enough flow, just enough light. So I'm gonna bring you guys up close and personal. Let's check out this coral under the blues and see if we can get it to pop. All right guys, so here's the Acan Anchinata up close and personal. So you guys can see it's like a nice beautiful orange and then it's got like a blue polyps in the middle. So all we have to do now is I got my reef link open. So let's start turning the uh, Let's start turning the turning them down. Let's let's turn our reds right down. Let's turn our greens right down. So you can see it's starting to pop a little bit more. Let's turn the slowly turn the cool whites down. As you guys can see, it's really starting to pop there now. So let's take the cool whites right down. So there you go. There's the Acan Anchinata. It's a beautiful orange and blue. It almost matches uh, my Scully. It's really popping. So let's let's go try some presets. See what happens. Let's go uh, polyfluorescent. Very nice. Let's try color radiance. And let's just try all blues. All right, guys. So there's our coral for this week. The Ecan Anchinata. So we'll just go back to our color channels, start bringing everything up a little bit. Bring everything back. There we go. All right, farm hands. that's Coral Friday for this week. I hope you guys really liked this episode. I just wanted to say thank you for Aqua Valley up in Ottawa for uh, this great uh, specimen, Acan Anchinata. It's a great coral. Um, I wanted to thank Phil from uh, Poly Labs for uh, sending up uh, this uh, reef primer shot for coral dipping this week. Uh, this stuff worked really well. We got a nice uh, big fat uh, bristle worm came off and we got some serpent stars and uh, pest snail. Can't beat that. So I hope you guys uh, tune in next week. You never know what coral I'm going to have. You know, please subscribe, hit the like button. Thanks guys. Bye.